the race for the Americas was in full swing by the 1390s. Haudenosaunee, British, and Zulu spheres of influence had begun to see friction as the great empires of the old world pursued the riches of the new. The Pustum Gulf Wars had acted as a distraction for the British, and as the empire grew unwieldy, the struggle to maintain centralized control became more prominent. The use of governor generals to enact the authority of the crown in far reaches of the empire had become a necessity, and alongside the increased militarism, the empire began to rely on soft power to regain much of its lost influence. The arts flourished, museums showcased findings from across the known world, and the burgeoning film industry would spread entertainment and propaganda alike. And so the jingoism and warmongering of the British Empire would continue for some time longer, with the smoke and mirrors of theatre celebrating the constant push for more. In 1321, the Caledonian Mercury wrote of the British Empire, On her dominions, the sun never sets. Before his evening rays leave the spires of Manchester, his morning beams have shone three hours in London, and while sinking from the waters off the New World's coasts, his eyes open upon the mouth of the Brahmaputra. An excerpt from The Rise of Nations by Par T. E. Leet. Hey everybody, it's Party Leet! Welcome back to our Humankind Forging India miniseries. I am, as always, thoroughly excited to see exactly where our story takes us next. The war against the Persians went rather well. We have pushed them off the Arabian Peninsula and made our first forays into Africa. And we can now turn our gaze once more to the Ottomans. I cannot believe the number of times we have gone to war with the same people over the course of our sort of collective history. It is, it's more of a tradition now than anything else. It's like, hey, you know, it's been a couple millennia. We should go to war again, shouldn't we? Yeah, yeah, let's go to war again. It's almost like a, an, an agreed upon tradition at this point in time. But hopefully this is the last war we'll fight with these folks because hopefully at the end of this war, we'll be able to vassalize them. And that vassalization while it might not last right until the end of the game, uh, one can dream, right? Now, if I'm not mistaken, we do have some ongoing, yes, demands, unfortunately. And these might get in the way. Now, I could withdraw the demands. That is always an option, of course. However, I don't really hate them, truth be told. Um, Hecatompolos we've wanted for a while. If we get it, we just absorb it into Hariganga, right? Uh, Rothal down over here, we could either attach it to... Hariganga or uh, to London down south, like we could do it either way. So I don't really mind this. The extra money is nice too. We don't need it desperately or anything, but it would help us kind of like modernize our military and stuff like that. My only concern is that the war score cost of these three demands, even though it's reduced because we've demanded them before the war has been declared, but even though it's reduced, I fear that it might be so high that we won't be able to afford vassalization. Now, the Ottomans have been cut down to size, so it's not going to be as expensive as it was beforehand, but I don't know. We'll see. Time will tell. As I like to say, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. And once the Ottomans have been taken care of, we can then turn our attention to a, what I think is far more pressing matter. The Americas is, uh, are? Grammar. The Americas are, uh, are becoming a, uh, flashpoint, I think. The Haudenosaunee are spreading their influence. They've got two cities over here. Uh, they actually have the Zulu as their vassals as well, right? Um, oh, wait, no, hold on. It's the other way around. My apologies. I, 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 I keep reading this the wrong way because uh, I see that icon and I assume that it means they are the vassals. They're the ones with the chains as opposed to, you know, the other way around, right? So, so no, sorry. The Haudenosaunee... Um, serve the Zulu. Interesting. Okay. So war war with either will bring both in either way. Nonetheless, the direction of the relationship, I guess, is a little irrelevant to us. What matters is that they do have... Uh, well, they're, they're going to work together against us. So this is a scary space to be. In theory, by kind of extension, you could say the Zulu have three cities. Um... Hold on. <laughs> they are the liege of the Hanasha. It's going to take some getting used to because I, I keep reading this the, the other way around. So the Zulu, by extension, have three cities uh, in the Americas because, I mean, even though technically the Haudenosaunee are in charge over here, the Zulu can uh, can ask them to, to do things for them. Oh, damn. You know, that's... Uh, well, anyway, that's a little worrying. Um, and it's expensive to... Uh, to extend our reach over here. I mean, the influence gain has been a problem for some time now, and that's because of our city cap and us being over it. It'll be some time before we have uh, 
you know, plus one added to that city cap. I believe it'll be another, what, 16 turns or so, 20 turns or so before we get another plus one there. So I gotta, I really gotta change my focus a bit to adding more influence more quickly. Uh, and I'll once more have the conversation about absorbing Ninoa into Asher, but I have some plans. I still, as always, continue to have some plans before I finally pull the trigger on that move. But anyway, I am a little worried about uh, the uh, Hadanashani here, uh, you know, trying to claim some more territories. We still have the ruins of our uh, second uh, outpost over here. Our first, of course, got burned down pretty quickly by the Mississippians, but our second outpost ruins are still here. Hopefully, we'll be able to take it back. Hopefully, also, we'll be able to heal this cog up. It's been suggested that we do that. That's not a bad idea. If push comes to shove, I want to at least be able to put up a fight before I leave. And by leave, I mean get sunk. And up over here, actually, you know what, Manchester? I might actually get you to recruit, um, yeah, a unit of settlers. This might seem a little silly because, you know, we're not going to be establishing a new city anytime soon. Establishing a new uh, outpost, sorry, is expensive. But I think I would like to have these settlers out there sort of in a position to do that when necessary. We could get this festival happening. Eight turns, though. Eight turns. Why don't we go ahead and do the settlers, because it'll take one turn, and then we can turn our attention maybe to the... Uh... No, I lie. We, we'd, we'd probably concern ourselves with things like the market quarters or the uh, make maker's quarters first. But let's get those settlers out, and maybe we can claim some more territory out over here. As you might be able to imagine, if you're familiar with myself and uh, this channel, uh, I do want to establish a city somewhere out here. I'm sure some of y'all can figure out exactly where. <laughs> if I if I come close enough, I'll be happy enough with that. And then down south over here, of course, we have these settlers making landfall soon and hopefully claiming some uh, outposts down over here as well. It's going to be an interesting session, folks. It'll definitely involve a new war uh, against the Ottomans. Uh, but first, we have to do a little bit of preparation uh, on which note these Mongol hordes, I don't think I'm going to upgrade them just quite yet. I'm going to hold off on those upgrades. I'm kind of wondering if I want to rush the construction of the uh, train station at Ninoa. That's the last of our train stations that we need to build in the uh, in the old world, I think. It will make a massive difference. If I hang on for four turns, I think we'll be okay. I'm in a bit of a rush because we're at the last sort of act of this playthrough. You know, there's less than 100 turns left. So I want to make sure I don't go too slowly now, but it is very expensive. All right, we'll hang tight for now, in which case you guys hang tight. And uh, that's the turn. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with waiting for that train station, I think, to get built, and then we'll uh, we'll, we'll declare the war right after that. Let's go ahead and, and get the Eiffel Tower in view, because I do like seeing the wonders get built. It's still one thing I wish happened, was like the nice little spin around or something of a wonder being built. It's something I like in civilization. It's something I would like in humankind as well, but uh, we can do it manually, I suppose. Let's go ahead and end that turn. Wait, actually, you know what? I take it back. I'm going to try and generate some more money. Uh, before we get ahead of ourselves, before we hit that enter button, let's try and make a little bit more money so we can upgrade those uh, Mongol hordes a bit more uh, quickly when the time comes. Because it is expensive, if, if memory serves me right. It is expensive, right? 2500 per. We can barely upgrade one right now. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, shift our focus when and where possible. Just a little bit more towards generation of wealth. want to make sure we're not obviously harming any other aspects of our... Ooh, this isn't good. Hmm. Let's get you guys over here. Ooh, this is... This is really not good. Theater will be done in two turns. Why don't we go ahead and get... Oh, wow. Um. Okay. Let's get the fishery done first, then. Prevent people from starving and dying. That would be nice, right? Uh, it'll take two, one turn, actually. Sorry. What if I move... One person over here. It'll still take two turns. Two people over here. Yeah, sure. Okay, make a little bit more money. Get the fishery happening. Yeah, sure. I think that... I'm I'm glad I decided to do this before I hit end turn. Calcutta, what about here? Ooh. That's not good. Not a fan of that. Not a fan of that at all. And we cannot... Oh, we could do the feast, I suppose. Plus five food. Um, You know, because that's going to make a huge difference. This is really... Wow. We have overextended ourselves a little bit, haven't we? Just a touch. All right, let's go ahead and put you down over here. We'll eat the one turn, I suppose. It's not like it's going to make that much of a difference. Um, so I guess I'll eat the one turn of famine in uh, West Bengal. Um, wow, I didn't... When I say I, I like to have a bit of uh, history in my playthroughs, that's not exactly what I meant. Um, but uh, 
That's a little dark, I suppose. Damn. Uh, lots of... The Bengal famine... Uh, well, uh, there's a lot to say about it. Uh, I would suggest looking it up. Very interesting... Well, I mean, we're a little early. A very interesting set of circumstances that uh, caused... I will say it, but maybe I should say them, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, I mean, jeez, this is dark. And Bombay, it looks like, is also suffering from some food troubles. This is actually really... I'm glad I came over to check on these things because this is troubling. We're we're starving here. What's going on? What do I what do I allow to happen? Uh, farmers quarters, or do we get the uh, fishery done first? Plus three food on harbor, plus two food per farmer. Let's get let's get the uh, nine turns it'll take though. Ah, it's a long time, a long time, and that's kind of why I want to get the uh, the fishery instead. How many harbors do we actually have over here? Just uh, two, I think, right? So that would be plus three, plus three, it would be plus six, which would buy us some time at the very least. All right, fine, let's go ahead and do that then. Do that, and the uh, the grain silos next. Wow, oh, okay, I'm... Normally I, I uh... oh geez, over here as well at Bastion Rugger 2. Normally I'm like, when I when I delay clicking the end turn button like this, I'm, I'm upset at myself because, you know, oh, I should have just gone through, it's fine. Oh. I'm dallying. I'm 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 wasting time sometimes I feel like but this 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 is uh, I am glad I took the time to step away from the end turn button to originally adjust how much uh I realized I stopped my original um intent over here. <laughs> let's bring that back. Looks like we're still researching at a decent enough rate. Uh but let's also try and survive this famine. Jeez, things are a little worse in the uh, empire than I'd initially thought. Pop you in there. Pop you in here as well. So we'll take just one turn for the fishery, right? A little bit more food from that, and then the grain silos come in next, I suppose. Because again, plus two food per farmer is huge, right? Seven turns versus... Yeah, seven turns still. All right, fine. Fair enough, fair enough. Yikes. Okay. Okay, we're okay. That's bust some nugget done. <laughs> Holy crap. I did not realize the situation we had... We, 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 we put ourselves in. The apothecary will be done in two turns over here as well. We're seeing some food struggles. Why don't we go ahead and get a couple people help generate money? And when we get a couple people to help make more food, there we go, that's better. That's so still not good, sorry. How about now? There we go, plus one in nine turns. That's better, that's better. Still still three turns until the scientific method has been researched, so that's promising. But, uh, yeah, big yikes. Okay, oops. Wow. Wow. Nineveh? Four turns you have. Huh. Am I gonna let these people starve for war? Jeez, getting real dark. What the hell? <laughs> we got artificial reservoirs. How much would that cost for me to make? Three thousand. Two turns. Three thousand. Honestly, tempting to spend uh, the, uh, the 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 population right. Sacrifice some lives. Two birds with one stone. No, we'll leave it be. Two turns. So it'll be six turns until we we kick this war off. By that time, I could have just marched up to here. You know what? All right. Look, here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I think next turn we'll be able to afford the train station. Maybe, maybe in three turns, we'll be able to afford the train station at a decent price. We'll do that, and, and, and then the reservoirs in two turns. Jeez, so we might lose a pop here. We might lose a pop here. The, the cost of, uh, of doing business, the business of war, that is, the business of making a grand empire. What have I allowed to happen, though, for real? Damn, I was not expecting such dark times. Wow, okay. I mean, hey, it's a good setup for the uh, transition from, you know, the British Empire to the, the next era, I suppose, you know. Uh, unrest would be at an all-time high with these kinds of famines and and, and, and just the struggle of, of bureaucracy and stuff that I was uh, talking about in the intro, but not, not like this. Not like this. Anyway, uh, as empires do while the people are suffering, we shall celebrate our glory by watching the Eiffel Tower get built. Hit that end turn button now when I think it's somewhat safer to do. The Eiffel Tower, proof of what you can do with a bit of iron, a bit of math, and thousands of liters of paint. I like that audio clip sound bite quite a bit. Um, the Eiffel Tower was uh, really hated when it was first made. People thought it was hideous and uh, and atrocious and, and that it shouldn't be allowed to exist. Um, funnily enough, uh, there's uh, one building right across from, not literally right across from, but you can see this massive monolithic building um, that's extremely tall. 
that uh, is an absolute eyesore when you stand on the Eiffel Tower. I forget which direction you have to be looking to see it. And because of that building, uh, there is a bylaw now which prevents buildings from being built too high uh, within a certain like radius around the Eiffel Tower to prevent um, <laughs> such eyesores from being built. Uh, another fun fact to the Eiffel Tower, or for the Eiffel Tower, um, imagery of the Eiffel Tower during the day is in public domain. So if you take a photograph of it, or you paint it, or you know, anything like that, and you use it in a commercial project, you're fine. It's in the public domain, you're allowed to use it. However, photography or imagery of the Eiffel Tower at night, with its lights on, is not in the public domain. And so you actually have to get a license to use nighttime imagery of the Eiffel Tower. And that is because, according to French copyright law, uh, there is a certain time period for which art is protected uh, under copyright uh, for the artists and all that um, and the Eiffel Tower is old enough that it's uh, you know gone past that time period and so it's now in public domain but the lighting systems and the lighting setup on the Eiffel Tower was installed much later and so the lighting is still protected under that time period um, and, and the copyright law uh, and I don't know how heavy-handed they are in the enforcement of the law but uh, yeah, so the Eiffel Tower during the day, public domain. The Eiffel Tower at night with the lights on, not public domain. I always found that fascinating. I always found that fascinating. Um, pretty good stuff. Beautiful building. I, I quite like it uh, in, in, in the real world and also in the game. It is so striking with how like vibrant it is. It's beautiful. And, and y'all can tell I like red, I imagine, if you look at the channel. <laughs> so I do think this is quite gorgeous. Anyway, uh, really just distracting myself from the starvation of our people by looking at pretty buildings. I'm, I truly am in charge of an empire, aren't I? Uh, what do we tackle first? This, I suppose. Uh, these guys have not stolen this territory from me. All right, let's make our moves here. They might still do it. They might still do it. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie to you. Honey cords, right? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. Uh, down over here, let's go ahead and make landfall and see if we can't find a good spot to take. Now, again, claiming a territory down over here will generate friction with the Zulu. They won't like us, you know, stealing territory as they'll claim it to be. These guys will be hanging tight as well, right? Well, let's see. What's the deal here? 4,200. But wait, one more turn. Then what happens? In two turns, this will get built and we'll hit that uh, number as well. I'm going to give it one more turn. One more turn. So fine. Hang tight. Uh, hang tight. And you guys as well, hang tight. All right. Patience down here as well. And over here too. These settlers, meanwhile, let's go ahead and make our, uh, our move. Try and find some more uh, land over here. Try and claim a couple of more territories. At least get some outposts down. See if we can't generate enough influence quickly enough to to, to get enough. How much, how much will it actually cost again? Can I check... Uh, 2,500? 2,400? Okay. So roughly, give or take, every five turns, we should be able to establish another outpost. Of course, the cost increases as we go on, but, uh, but give or take every five or six turns, I suppose. Fair enough. Now, Asher, you are free now to build something else because the Eiffel Tower has been built. What a great use of our influence. Um, what do we go with here? School for extra science. We don't need more military. We do not need more military. I could go with more stability. We do not need either. I could go with more influence then. Food in 317 turns will have some trouble, but uh, I think we're fine <laughs> for now. Hopefully we won't have more famine over here. Where is the commons quarters? Plus four. Let's go for it there. Good stuff. Uh, Manchester. How about over here? We go with the... I quite like... There was a, there was a comment in the uh, comments of the previous episode, or maybe it was the episode prior, I forget now, but there was a comment about uh, using our colonies for wealth generation being rather fitting, and I do quite like it. I do quite like how uh, it's sort of an appropriate uh, <laughs> way to use them. Uh, we could get a market quarter over here. We've got decent industry going already. Why don't we make some more money, I suppose? What about sciences? Uh, and what about just plus two over here, right? Eh? Let's go ahead and make some more money. Money and influence both make the world go around, so let's establish the, uh, the market quarter over there. And then London over here. A bit more money over here, perhaps. Or what about the uh, commons quarter over here? Uh, still also just plus two across the board, right? That's kind of like the lowest it gets. Um, how come it won't help with stability up over here? Weird. I'm sure there's a reason. Uh, I'm just not... It's just not registering right now. Three turns. Three turns, three turns. 
Here it'll take two turns, but that's also a money-making spot, isn't it? Plus 13 gold as opposed to like the plus fives everywhere else. Um, all right, listen, why don't we go ahead and... I want to check something. We don't have time to waste. We need more influence more quickly. Let's go ahead and establish these guys up over here, right? Because what's the gold here? Five? Fine. Why don't we go ahead and do this? Because then I can check the thing I want to check while also working towards our influence gain. Plus two is what we're likely to get from anywhere. One more turn of waiting. Nah, I don't like this. Assyrian Raiders? The hell? <laughs> Still hanging around. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Let's go ahead and uh, end turn, though. Stressful times. Stressful times. Are we losing? See, this is the thing about having the... Oh, the Zulu feel differently about me. Hate filled. There is war coming. There is war coming. To what do I owe the pleasure? And the Greeks have closed their borders. You know, I know I say this pretty much every time now, but uh, I... I really wish the notifications were smaller because I would like to keep these open. I must be missing news all the time. Look at that. Wonder wonderful Yellowstone has been locked by another empire. I would have completely missed this. I wouldn't have realized that the uh, the Greeks hate us even more now. I would have missed so much stuff. Um, and in fact, I, I, I do miss so much stuff because I don't like seeing the giant pop up, uh, especially when you get a huge stack of them. Uh, I just I do I do want to see that get tweaked ever so slightly. Man, that's a shame. To what do I owe the pleasure? That is a shame, isn't it? We were we were friends once. We were friends once. We were allies. The only alliance in the history of of, of humankind. And the sad music kicks in. All right. Uh, oh, this is a bit of a bummer, isn't it? Hmm. My plans are being dashed by one of the oldest <laughs> regiments in the world, it seems. No, no, no. Listen. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're only making a thousand... We're only making like 1,400 per... Okay, listen, that's fine. Uh, we're going to get the Mongol hordes of the lot. I think we'll upgrade just the one. I think that's all we'll be able to afford. All right? So the train station, we're going to build it because it's time for war. If I could end that war quickly and gain those war reparations, that'll be helpful as well. So why don't we go ahead and... Uh, and plus, we got to be ready for war against the Zulu as well. It, it feels like it's going to trigger like next turn or the turn after. So we're going to go ahead and buy this train station, which truth be told, I probably could have just walked this faster. But I wanted to do this, and so I will. We're going to go ahead and pay for this train station. Yes. 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 It's, uh, again... I 100% didn't need that train station if I wanted to rush to war. I know this, but like I've said countless times before, sometimes I like making decisions because of the story it creates, not because of the numbers or the min-maxing or anything like that. It's what I do often, and this is a perfect example of that. And I'll, I'll show you exactly why I want that train station for literally like one click's worth of work. And just to get that one click, I have to put a lot of, <laughs> I have to do a lot of work first. So <laughs> work with me here as I bring these Mongol hordes towards the uh, border over here. Um, Maybe from up top over there, we'll, we'll come in from over here. I don't know if the direction will make that much of a difference. We want to be close to the border, though. Uh, yeah, up over here, sure. So let's bring these three over here. Yeah, they're going to come through. And then these guys are going to push these guys back. They're probably going to retreat. I wouldn't be surprised if they do. But we need to clear out the uh, the tracks over here. The thing about train stations is uh, when two train stations are connected, you can travel between them pretty quickly, as you've seen in the past, right? When when this army got up to here, you know, you'll recall how quickly it moved from, from station to station across multiple stations per turn. But if there is a unit blocking the tracks, they will prevent the use of the, that section of track. So from this station to this station, for example, even though they're connected, because there's a unit here, um, we cannot use any of this track because, you know, in theory, they've blockaded the tracks. I love that. I think it's so cool. Um, it's just, again, it's, 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 it's one of those like really nice and interesting uh, elements and features or, or however you want to phrase it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and clear these guys out. I don't think I have to upgrade over here. That's my one unit over here. Let's go ahead and push these guys back. Hopefully they'll push back. Come on, retreat. Okay, good, excellent. Hopefully they'll push back over to the right. Okay, excellent, beautiful. Excellent. Um, so now, <laughs> now after all that extra effort, we can finally show off the power of the train station. If I've got this all correct, uh, we should be able to. 
in one turn get all the way up to here in one turn we can get all the way up to here and 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 and, and that's really what i wanted I, I i wanted to have this huge like infrastructure project done so that i could just <laughs> show it off like this and just and just have it to to, to use and again we're, we're kind of expanding that up over here as well uh, against the uh, the Zulu, right? Positioning ourselves against the Zulu, if I recall correctly. We have the train station over here from Mahenjadaro, and we'd probably want to establish another one up over here at Porima. Unfortunately, attaching it is a little expensive right now. I don't know if I want to spend that kind of influence on attaching Porima. Uh, but, but if push comes to shove, then from here, we should be able to get up to here pretty quickly as well. It'll take two turns, because we have to go through quite a few stations. But, you know, quick, quick, it's, it's still fast enough. If we establish a train station at Aldenab, it'd be a bit quicker, actually. So why don't we go ahead and do that, get that going. Um, is this uh, Aldenab? That is Aldenab. So we could do that. Or we could do this. The plus five is nice, but it's not the, uh, the biggest deal. So why don't we establish this over here? Because that way, when, a, when, a, when an army hops off over here, if they need to, they have access to some of these mountain passes they can pass through, right? Anyway, sorry. So, yeah, this is why I wanted these train stations, because they are really cool, and uh, they, they, they shrink the world significantly. I mean, look at the distance they're about to travel over here, right? So, for those of you that were wondering why I'm obsessing over train stations, well, this is why. This is why, because I think this is such a cool thing. Again, I wish visually it was a bit more, like, you know, appropriate, I suppose. But I just think this is so absolutely cool uh, to have these guys uh, be able to move so quickly. And again, it's determined by their movement points, right? So they have four movement points. That means they're able to go to four train stations, uh, hopping across four territories. Now, in due time, it'll become obsolete when we get, you know, airplanes and, and, and airports and stuff like that. But it'll be quite a bit of time, actually. Uh, so, so I wanted to get this integrated. And now with the Zulu, you know, positioning for war against us, it'll be good to be able to go from this train station uh, over to the one at Mahenjadaro that we established in preparation for war against the Zulu, right? Like, it works out quite nicely, I think, in that way. Now, we might not be able to dive into battle this turn right away, so that's fine. I think we actually have to go all the way around there, do we? Oh, okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. An interesting spot, Garama. An interesting spot. We could come down over ooh, here instead. No, we gotta go all the way around that way, eh? Oh, wow. Because of the the way, the, the, the lay of the land over here. Fair enough. We'll come around this way. We'll, we'll, we'll strike them from up north. Hopefully we're able to. We might need to take to sea for a little bit. But uh, next turn, I guess we declare our war. Sorry. Pull these guys back down this way. We'll upgrade one of those guys to Dragoons. In fact, since we buy one more turn, we'll be able to upgrade, I think, two guys to Dragoons. No, just the one still. And, uh... Hopefully a nice, sweet, quick conquest down over here. We're good. Up over here. Let's keep moving through the lands here. Sorry, I, I got a little distracted about, about trains. I just think they're... I legitimately think they're so cool in this game with how much of a difference they make in the late game. I cannot help myself, so I do apologize for that. What is this? These Hunnic Hordes, man. There's, there's, there's a lot of soldiers over here that don't belong to me, and I do not like it. Not one bit. It makes me very nervous. It makes me very nervous. If I were to claim a territory... Really? All the way down here? What if I want coffee? Oh, hello. Is it take zero turns? Why wouldn't you offer those to me? 17, 16, 22, 16. I mean, I, I, I kind of get why, but 12, 16 isn't bad. And we'd have coffee, and we'd block off uh, Central America and stuff. So why don't we move up that way, yeah. And it would take no time. That's that's the other big one. Sure. Ooh, where do we take the high ground? Is this also high ground? This is level ground over here. And that'll be low ground. Yeah, I think we'll establish our outpost over here. Upset the Zulu a bit further. A little nervous about how that plays out. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm sure we'll make it, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. I think we're ready for war though, right? Next turn. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see how this plays out. We'll, we'll position these guys first. There's scientific method researched as well. We've got standardized units. We've got fertilizer plant plus 10% food is huge, especially given our current circumstances. We also have the symposium, which is a way to gain more fame. So I think we will try and do that. What are the goths saying? Listening. listening about what? Oh, is this, is this what's going on? They have a demand. Well, this is where the notifications come in handy, I suppose. Uh, the goths have, well, they're aggressive. What are you going to try, man? What are you going to try? Oh, jeez. The seven stack. Winged Hussars. The MP. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Bonus combat strength when attacking stronger units. A little terrifying. I'm genuinely quite concerned about how uh, how some of this fighting is going to go down for us. Genuinely quite concerned. 2400 down over here. What about up over here? Get the oil there. Right, it would take... Zero turns, plus 30, plus 3... Establish ourselves further in North America or establish ourselves in South America. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and say we establish ourselves further in North America first. Let's go ahead and claim uh, our old spot. Go for it. There's Lusitania once more. Now we can heal this boat up. Hang tight, though. I don't want to spend the money for it. And up over here, hang tight because we cannot afford uh, we cannot afford the, uh, the outpost there. Hang tight over here as well. Up over here, can we? No, we gotta move first. Damn. That's gonna be a declaration of- Oh no, it's not, because we're expansionists, so we're fine to move in here, actually. Can we get up there, though? We can. And I guess we, uh, we strike next turn. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I kinda wanna do it all at the same time. Uh, Nineveh is going to get this thing done. Am I gonna spend the money? No, I'm not, because I still need to upgrade my... Um... My hordes, right? These guys, hang tight. Hang tight. Keep you moving over this way. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. And all the way at Manchester, why don't we go ahead and try and generate even more influence. Plus 2 up there. What about money? Uh, plus 13 all the way out over here. Fair enough, might be might be the money we chase. Ooh, this isn't bad. Take advantage of the, uh, the lakes. 12 and 7, 12 and 7 across the board. What about, what, what, what about, what about this? I think this makes more sense first. Pop you down over here. Sure, let's do that. Three turns is not that bad. All right, this turn we should be able to declare war, right? Got to be close enough. Got to be close enough. I want some new vassals, damn it. <laughs> let's move. There it is. Actually, a fairly large city, and 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 the lay of the land is actually kind of troubling. We don't have that many uh, straight lines of, of of fire. We would have to pull some troops back over here to shoot from back there. We do have uh, some uh, red coats, obviously, that would be able to move and then shoot. So that should be fine, but that's only if they're positioned appropriately. Now, they probably only have, like, draftees and stuff defending them, so I don't think I have to worry too much. But you know what? Uh, funnily enough, a howitzer over here would have been worth something. <laughs> a howitzer over here would have actually been worth something. Uh, down over here, we can go ahead and upgrade the um, Mongol hordes. Are we going to involve... We're not, actually. These guys won't get involved. Are you for real? I think they might have to just step into the battle and then step back out if they're going to fight from across the water. But that's fine. We're going to upgrade some of these guys first. All one step of veterancy. Go ahead and upgrade you to dragoons. Good stuff. Uh, what's the situation down over here before I rush all those guys up there? The Samnaya, I really feel like we should upgrade these guys to red coats. Uh, they're a little outdated, aren't they? They're a little outdated. 2500 though. 2500. I can keep them at bay, they don't have to get involved. I got these, these guys up over here as well. So fine, 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 fine. These guys are a bit more directly involved, so these guys will get their upgrades rushed instead. And hopefully we didn't actually lose any population over here, no starvation. It looks like we managed to protect them, yes, from starvation. That's good. That, that does feel quite good, actually. Uh, I don't think... Oh, actually, I can't remember the numbers now. I'm pretty sure we're fine, though. Uh, okay, we're good here. What else is left? Calcutta. We could go ahead and get the uh, coal mine going, I suppose, up over there. We have one down here as well. Uh, what about Commons Quarters? Plus four up there. I mean, every little bit of influence counts, right? 19 to our science isn't bad either. Because it, it pairs up with the uh, the coal, right? 19. No, okay, look. I'm, I'm, I'm allowing myself to get distracted. Commons Quarters up over here. Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, who else? London down over here. Okay, so I wanted to check up over here plus eight. There we go. Yeah, because of the, uh, the 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 harbor. That's what I was waiting for. I was like, where's the? When do I? When can I tap into that benefit? Marginal as it might be, when can I tap into it? All right. What do we got over here? You guys hang tight. Time for war, I suppose. 
Let's begin with Garama. We've made all this effort. Let's strike at their capital first, formally declaring our war. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> they got some Assyrian raiders. I mean, I would expect our side to be significantly stronger, actually. Oh, they're sallying forth. Well, that's kind of good for us, because then they're the aggressor, and, and, and we technically have the, uh, the choke point. Uh, we will, of course, make it a manual battle. Um, unfortunately, we're kind of packed here before we can move, and, and they, get to, they get to make the first move. Why don't we get the um, musketeers down here? They're a little bit stronger, so they might survive the onslaught and just make it through. That, that slight change in strength, the plus five in, in combat strength might be enough over here. So yeah, let's end our deployment like this and we'll move everybody around when it's our turn and, 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 and figure it out from there. Let's do it. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see how many we can wipe out. There's one. And there's the reload. Come on. Come at me. There's two. <laughs> oh, it never gets old. We did take a fair bit of damage there, though. We did get a fair bit of damage there. There's three. That's the hat trick. Good stuff. Still. Just trying to, like, point out the, the dug-in status. Beauty. Another one. Oof. That's four. Gained a star of veterancy as well. That's five. A lot are hurt there. And a six. Oh, that's a bit scarier. I think we've got them. We have got them. But unfortunately... Oh, after a very good showing, we actually lost that unit. That was impressive, though. That was impressive. Guaranteed, if that was uh, a unit of Arkabuzia and not Musketeers, they would have died sooner. But uh, wow, we basically wiped their entire army out. Their entire army. Let's step in. Step in, let's go. Where are these raiders? Somewhere out over here? Or is it these raiders that have gotten involved? Maybe. Either way, let's take the, uh, the city for ourselves. As much as we can. But make sure not to overstep our... Uh, our bounds either. We don't want them to actually capture our flag, right? Oh, yo, that was insane. That was insane. It's too bad, though. At the end of the day, at, at the end of the day, they did manage to get one of our units, but... Let's finish them off now. Man, that last guy putting up that fight, that was so cool. That was so cool. And there's the Siege at Garama. Victory. Beautiful. Beautiful. The occupation of Garama is going wonderfully. Down south over here, one of our more interesting battles, potentially for Kirtan over here. What is the uh, war support situation over here? Pretty good. Pretty good. We should be able to step right in over here. I, yeah, it's kind of interesting seeing these guys not going to get involved by default. Well, let's see. It's almost like, do I want to step into the water first, or do I just want to see what comes through first? These guys are up here, Assyrian raiders. We should be fine. We have two units of dragoons. We should be okay. Go for it. They're going to step out. These guys have not gotten involved. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting. It's like, do we have to take to the sea here? I'm a little concerned about this, because this could go poorly. They're the attackers, so they move first. They got a bunch of peasants. They have, oh, quite a few reinforcements, actually. Oh, damn, this could actually go very poorly. I wonder if I shouldn't retreat. All that cockiness, and for what? Troubling. Okay, troubling. What about down over here? What about down over here? If I were to move in... Well, I gotta wait a couple of turns, do I? I can attack from here. Alright, so why don't we go ahead and move these guys into there. And here we should be able to attack. It looks like yes. These guys are able to support as well. We'll have to pull back. A little unfortunate. Not, not exactly what I was hoping for, but I'll take it. That's a beautiful administrative center. Main plaza, whatever you want to call it. Right, let's go for it. 
beauty. I was worried that for some reason it wouldn't allow me to attack. Looks like they're uh, pushing out. We'd have to defend our flag, which is unfortunate, uh, but not not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Manual battle over here for sure. Huh. No reinforcements or anything available. A little worrying. A little concerning. I mean, I guess that's our deployment. Not much else I can do. Let's see what these guys get up to. That'll hurt only marginally because it's a weak unit. None of their units can actually strike us. Are they going to block our reinforcements is the question. No, it looks like we're fine. Okay, cool. So, let's first of all get um, these Dragoons over here. Right? I wonder if... Oh, we actually can't step out there because the battlefield doesn't go far enough. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, we can destroy this unit. Pull back. Pull back here. Pull back... All right, let's pull back here. Curious how this will play out, actually. Go ahead and get the... Uh... Hmm. Get the Gudgeonel out first. Pull you up to... Here, sure. I guess, so we can make landfall over there. Very... This is... I mean, again, I'm trying some different stuff with these battles, so I wouldn't be surprised if things don't work out perfectly. Uh, reinforcements, let's go ahead and get from over here, please. What is going on here? Locked by the presence of another unit on the tile. I don't, there is no other unit on the tile. What are you talking about? Oh, that's, sorry, that's up there. My bad, my bad. I meant these guys down here. There we go. So let's go ahead and eliminate this unit of pikemen, right? Can't fire from up there, so let's eliminate you. Beauty. <laughs> nice and easy, that one. Oh, we've got the upper hand in the sense that at least we're not... We don't have to make landfall over here. They're the ones who have to try and eliminate our uh, our units. So so we have the advantage I in that sense, I suppose. That's the round done, I guess. All right. Interesting. Very curious how this will play out. Paying for our cockiness at least a little bit over here. Gonna eliminate that unit, I think. The Dragoons are gonna do well. Yeah, beautiful. Nicely done. More coming for us, I think. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hidden units. Very sneaky. Nice and easy, though. In comes another one. That's three for three, if I'm not mistaken. Beauty. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's my turn. Alright, cool. Can we fire from... Ah, outside of line of sight. Are you for real? Come on. It says we can fire from up over here. So, uh... In the interest of a very cool moment... Let's take the fort up over here, I suppose. Turn around and fire. Yo. <laughs> That's pretty sick. That's pretty dope. All right, I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's go ahead and disembark up over here. These guys, are you able to make landfall here? You are indeed. Let's go for it. Hold your ground, of course. Uh, what do we have over here? The Sumnaya. Yeah. Not not the ideal unit, I would say, for the situation, but I'll take it. Pull you up over here. Can you fire from over here, actually? No, because you've just disembarked. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting about that. These guys will hang tight over there. That's fine by me. Yeah, sure thing. I believe that's, uh... That's our round. Oh. Fair bit of hurt. Didn't eliminate them, but fair bit of hurt. From up over here, we can fire, but why don't we have the uh, finishing salvo come from the uh, glorious Gajna. <laughs> oh my god. Hecatompolos is ours. Lovely. Gotta love the timing of the music as well. Gotta love the timing of the music. Doing quite well. This is the one true concern. And we bring our reinforcements in in time. The, the, the real issue is that we only have the two units of Dragoons. Can we protect ourselves well enough from these guys? Like, these guys would probably come from down here... But we have these guys behind us. One unit behind us, four over here, and the peasants as well, right? I think we should be able to make it. Manual battle, of course, right? We got some Dragoons up front. Don't think we need the Dragoons at the back, because these are just the uh, Assyrian Raiders, right? Where are the Pikes? I think the Pikes are in here, in this stack. Yeah, that's the Pikes. This is just Assyrian Raiders. So we'll keep the Dragoons up there. We'll keep the Mongol Hordes back over here. 
defending against that nonsense as it comes up towards us. This is a river, if I'm not mistaken, so they will suffer some penalties. Uh, we'll protect this on the high ground. I imagine they're going to deploy within their uh, within their within the safety of their home back there. So fair enough. This is too bad. I was really hoping to fire from across the uh, across the way over here. I guess I'll have to get involved up there. Oh, it'll take us a couple of turns. Oh, that's a real bummer. You have something cool planned, and sometimes it just doesn't work out, you know? Sometimes it just doesn't work out. All right, we'll see what happens when we when we start the battle first. Uh, we're lined up like this. We're lined up like this. Dragoons. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's end deployment there. Battlefield did not expand. Ottomans move first. Let's see what they come up with. Getting in a position down there, it looks like. It's all a matter of how far their cavalry can get and which angle they're going to come from. Looks like up north, actually. At least as far as I can see right now. Uh, looks like up north. Yeah, okay, this will be interesting. Alright, here we go. Guns out. Good stuff here. Mongol Horde did a decent job up there as well. Okay. And up over here. Come on. Come on. Okay, beautiful. You know what? I think we're okay. I think we're okay. We're, we're fighting against an antiquated people. We're fine. We're fine. These guys are already damaged as they roll in. Down over here, some more peasants being shot up. Oh my god. Beautiful. <laughs> what was I so worried about? Why was I so nervous? What was I thinking? Gain some more veterancy over here as well. Amazing. The absolute slaughter. Ottoman? More like... Slaughtered men, am I right? <laughs> God damn, that was terrible. But I will embrace it nonetheless. Great, units are awaiting my orders. Wonderful. Uh, can I get you guys in here? Can I get you guys to reinforce this battle? Not in one turn, I can't. Not in one turn, I can't. Well, if I don't need them, then I might as well push them towards the new world, right? If I don't need them, I might as well push them towards the new world. Question is... We'll, uh, we'll deal with that in a moment, actually. I was, I was going to say, it's like maybe we should get a boat to help uh, that happen a bit faster. All right, let's turn around, finish these guys off. Um, soften them up, I guess. I'm trying to figure out what kind of reinforcements I have to worry about, because there are these pikes and, and they could cause a fair bit of hurt, right? I don't want to lose uh, the uh, the dragoons back over here because of some, some, some pikes. Uh, let's go ahead and fire at the Assyrian Raiders. Down you go. Go ahead and fire at these Assyrian Raiders as well. Deliver damage, take none. There's really nothing to lose there. Uh, and I wonder if I want to push these guys into position over here. Um, block their approach. Right, so why don't we go ahead and, yeah, push these guys over here. Push these guys up over here. Fire down. So if the pikes come through, uh, yeah, they'll be in the forests. They have a little bit further to go. First of all, they'll be in the forest. And, oh, they might take the level ground, actually. That's That would be too bad. But it's not the end of the world. Can we not hit these guys? What's going on here? Surely we can eliminate them. Yeah, weird. The UI wasn't updating appropriately. There's that done. Beauty, beauty. That's that all done. These guys will be moving elsewhere. So, yeah. End the round there. Come on. Beauty. Uh, how are you going to play it? Oh, very interesting. Trying to draw me out, I think. Fair enough, let's go ahead and take this, uh, what is this? Fort, or whatever it might be. These Dragoons, maybe try and get them some veterancy as they eliminate these Assyrian Raiders. Fire away. Down you go. Nice. Oh, so clean. So very clean. And up over here. I mean, again, the victory is ours unless we do something extremely foolish. Unless we do something extremely foolish. Let's go ahead and take this high ground over here. These guys might push through and then attack our Mongol hordes that way. But if we can if we can chase them down and finish them off, the only unit they have left. It's the only unit they have left. Get you in position up there. You hang tight over there. All right, end the round there. Come on, come at me. Don't just sit there like cowards. God damn it, they sat there like cowards. Okay. These guys have more health. 
Let's move them in first. Or you know what? I might be able to pull these guys back. In a worst case scenario. So let's move. We won't actually eliminate them. Can I come up here? Can I come up here? I can. Alright, let's go ahead and move up there. Fire from the high ground as well. To wipe these guys out. Oh, we can actually wipe them out in one shot. Why don't we try and maximize the veterancy gain uh, on this unit over here? And plus, I think this is just kind of glorious. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and that's Kirtan. Amazing. Amazing. That was extremely fast. One of the shortest wars in the history of uh, humankind, I suppose, right? Unfortunately, they'll still they'll still last for one more turn just because of how war score and all that stuff works. Uh, but yeah, Hecatompolos, uh, Kirtan, and Garama have all been occupied, of course. Oh, of course. I was just about to say, they're going to try and, and maintain uh, Constan Constantini. <laughs> con con I, can't, I can't say that right. Uh, but we, we should be able to respond to that. We have a train station up over here. We'll, we'll rush up with the Dragoons and Mongol hordes, allow them to heal up, maybe even have to pay for it a bit. But we should be able to take that uh, as well if we need to. I don't think we'll need to, though. All right, very well. What else do we have going on? These guys hang tight, heal up down over here. Um, we could found a city. doesn't cost us any influence. We could do it. We could just take it. it w I mean, it costs us influence in the sense that we stop making as much. Uh, there is that. There is that. Huh. Hang tight. Hang tight. There's another city I would like to establish first. Now, over here, Nineveh. Where is... We have a port up over there, right? Or a harbor, I should say. We could establish one down over here somewhere, just to make it a bit faster to get to the other side, right? To the new world, but it's not close enough to make it worth it, I don't think. Alright, in that case, in that case, let's just get you guys marching over. I'll take to the water, they'll make their way over. Unfortunately, there's no canal anywhere here for us to, like, cut through and bring that cog back over. We could, actually, when Manchester's done, uh, done the harbor here, we might be able to get uh, a good ship out there. Hmm. Nothing any more modern than the cog. Yeah, we might just be fine moving our troops over like this then. All right, up over here, let's get you guys a little bit further down south. You know, who knows? Who knows what uh, what great things might exist in this uh, in the fog of war over here? Okay, you guys, do I want to upgrade to the redcoats? We don't have enough money right now. It'll take two turns before we do. But upgrading these guys to the redcoats could make a world of difference. We saw how many units a single unit of uh, of redcoats could take down right in this war. So hang tight for now. We will, we will, I think, uh, upgrade them soon, yes. I think so. Well, our military might is uh, undeniably impressive. What are you trying, though? Where are you making your moves? Are you going to strike at London? Wouldn't be surprised, right? They have, they have foot soldiers. They might try and make some moves that way. They've got their uh, Assyrian raiders here as well. One turn is all they'll have, though. One turn is all they'll have to, to try whatever they want to try. These guys will move on as well. Come next turn. Yeah. Ah, if I want to upgrade them, I should upgrade them now, though. Because if they arrive at the New World... I mean, if they arrive at Manchester, then, then they'll be able to upgrade there. All right, fair enough. Cool, that works out. Keep an eye on these guys, I think. End the turn there. You guys are going to die at sea if they don't move. There they are trying to attack London, I think. Oh, eight notifications. Jeez. New grievance. What's going on here? You have a nerve showing your face. Interesting. 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 Very interesting. We should probably pull back from this one. We should probably pull back from <laughs> from from this one. <laughs> from the honey cords. Oh, it's really kicking off now, isn't it? All right, we'll get to it in a moment. Hold on. Asher, what to do with you? More influence generation, I suppose. Is that really what we're rushing now? Is there anything else I should maybe be focused on instead? Jeez, I don't know. What's our uh, stability is looking good? Okay, fair enough. Plus 15 to science over here. No, fine, you know what? More commons quarters. Let's go. There's our battle. Idle armies. Ooh. 
Exchanges between the people of the city and its neighbors led to a minor technological breakthrough. Enjoy this 15 science instant boost. Well, thank you very much. Scientific osmosis is uh, pretty cool. Sometimes it'll unlock an entire technology. Sometimes it'll lose something ever so minor as that. And it's a matter of having uh, cultural blending and stuff going on. I do believe it'll be... Uh, ooh, what's the foreign influence that's affecting us over here? There is none. I think it's because of our occupation of, of a foreign culture. That, that must be it. All right, let's go ahead and move these guys over. They'll arrive at Manchester. Is it really faster to go by land? <laughs> it might actually be. That's funny. How many turns will this take? 12 turns. 10, 10 turns down this way. Okay, we could do that. Can't legitimately be faster to go by... It's because the harbor doesn't exist yet. That, that's probably why. That's probably why. All right, fair enough. And then down over here, these guys, let's keep you moving as well. Over to Manchester, I think. Makes the most sense. Like, arrive there. Well, these guys are both red coats, so they could actually make landfall right outside of Ch uh, Cahokia and, 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 and just get to work right away. Let's move a bit more directly over there. I said let's move a bit more directly. Let's go. Taking their sweet time. What else do we have over here? These guys, I mean, gee, should we establish this now? No, no, no. I still have another priority city I want to establish first. Down over here, these guys are free to do as they wish, pretty much. Send them over to the New World as well. Or you know what? If there's going to be war with the Zulu, if there's going to be war with the Zulu, then let's position ourselves for war on this front as well, right? It's not just a war on the New World. It's not just a war on the New World. Over to the train station, as quickly as possible. Same thing with these guys as well, I suppose, over to the train station. Oh, they'll have, they'll have one more turn after this one, unfortunately. Let's make our way over. Pretty cool. Like, that transfer, I, I think is pretty neat. Um, what else do we have up over here? Keep exploring, keep exploring. Let's see what else we have down here. Oh, okay, interesting way to represent it, I suppose. A strange strategic resource. We don't yet know what it is. Fair enough. Over here. Right. I don't think we have to go up over here. The war is won. The war is won. Let's make our move, right? Let's make our moves. Uh, instant boost. Thank you very much. You know, in fact, these guys I probably should have brought back to this side. I was just talking about the, uh, the train station over here as well. I just see this and it uh, gets, me, gets me worried. We'll have this six stack... You'll be musketeers, you'll be musketeers as well, or rather red coats, I should say. They'll both be red coats, these guys will all be red coats, we'll have the Gudgeonel as well. Yeah, you know what, plus these dragoons and another unit of musketeers, these nine will 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 do the job up over here. Yeah, I think so. So let's move these what's four and another four. And another two, ten over to the new world. Really projecting our power. Really projecting our power, aren't we? Yeah, let's move them over. Worst case scenario, if I have to recruit more units in, in the old world, I can, right? I've got cities that can do that. I've got the connectivity of our of our train stations and stuff. I can do it very quickly. If I, uh, if I need more soldiers in the new world, that's a lot harder for me to pull off. What's going on here? Civic backlashes. All right, cultural blessing. Monoculturalism. Giving us plus two influence on main plaza and plus two influence on administrative centers. Why don't we take a look at the uh, screen here. So either we have monoculturalism or multiculturalism. I've always said that we should go with multiculturalism. Again, if we're trying to represent uh, the Indian subcontinent and we're trying to reforge or forge India, multiculturalism would absolutely make sense uh, over monoculturalism for sure. Uh, so this is not something we can stand by, and I will have to, uh, decline it. Also, look at the numerical difference. I did not realize, actually, just how, uh... Oh, only if, if assimilated peoples, though, which we do have some of. Uh, but no, no, I, I must, I must decline this. Close to a war victory. Close. Close. Refuse. How much will it cost? Negative 50 stability on Hecatompolos for 10 turns. Holy crap. They'll have to deal with it. They'll have to deal with it. We'll be absorbing it anyway. Alright, now this battle over here, unfortunately, yes, I do think we have to uh, retreat. Pull back. Let's see if they burn our uh, Lusitania down. You know, it's like uh, 
It's like destroying Lusitania might trigger a war or something. I don't know. Why does that sound familiar? Why why does it sound familiar? The destruction of the Lusitania. You could you could call it uh you could almost call it like a a, a sinking, you know, of, of a colony. Uh, the sinking of Lusitania. I don't know. Why does that sound like a like a reason to go to war? It just seems seems strangely familiar. Don't you dare do it with your stupid honey chords from another era, from a bygone era. Come on. Don't do this to me. Okay, looks like they're chasing us. Hey, if it's war they want, it's war they'll get, right? If it's war they want, it is war they'll get. And we have a plethora of soldiers making their way over. We have our settlers over here as well, looking for a good spot to settle down in. Uh, what else What else does this land hold for us? We could establish ourselves somewhere down over here again. It's a strategic resource over here. We'd have uh, Lusitania that we can actually attach to right away. I quite like that. Um, we could get the uh, oil over here as well. I actually spend the influence to get the uh, the oil. Well, actually, we don't have access to oil yet, so we'd have to actually spend the uh, the time if we don't want to attach Lusitania yet. We can obviously um, build it using influence later. Okay, interesting, interesting. One idle city, Manchester. <laughs> Honestly, I'm wondering if we shouldn't uh, maybe get like a howitzer or something coming through. Jeez. At least the harbor is done. So th th this should now be faster, right? Eight turns. Yeah, so it does shave a turn off. Because it was saying ten. One turn would have made it nine, but we're down to eight now. So that's that's good. Um, let's move. And I almost wonder, I almost wonder, if I get train stations down... Well, this is just one region, so it's not going to make that kind of a difference. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Hmm. What to do? What to do with you? Establish some garrisons. Recruit, uh... In preparation for this war, like to set up some recruitment spots in preparation for this war, I should say. It takes a long time to recruit up over here. We need some more industrial um, focus, I think, first, before we can get to that. All right. Things are looking pretty interesting. We're still well ahead of the curve as far as fame and uh, and, and eras are concerned. Um, the, the war for, uh, for North America looks like it's about to kick off in earnest. We will lose this unit. And I do think that's enough to uh, to, to push us over the uh, over the edge and, and have a full fledged declaration of war against the Zulu. We are just about in position. These guys should be able to come up to here in one turn. Again, I, this is this is why I wanted to invest in these trains. Like, look at that. In one turn, we can get up over here with these guys. These guys will take a little bit longer, of course, because they have to make landfall first. But they'll be here in what three turns? Three turns time. It's not a very long time at all. So uh, I do think, yeah. As I was saying. If it's war they want, it's, uh, war they'll get. But folks, that'll have to be next time, because this is where we're calling it a session. I hope you enjoyed this one. I certainly did. War against the Ottomans has gone swimmingly. A few surprise twists, I would say. Things didn't go exactly how I expected them to, but we did have some glorious victories. Some instant victories. Lost a unit or two here or there, but uh, overall, we've done quite well for ourselves. We will gain ourselves a new vassal. We will establish our one and only, um, what's it called again? Colonial office. And then we'll move into the next era and embrace modernity. Many of you have been asking about, uh, you know, using fighter jets and tanks. Oh, yeah. Oh, we will. Don't you worry. We will. But, folks, that and more next time and onwards. If you want to see more humankind on the channel, if you enjoyed this session, please don't hesitate to leave a like and a comment down below as always. It makes a massive difference. Just lets me know what y'all want to watch on the channel and what I should keep doing or what I should slow down or change. Uh, as always as well, of course, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers. <laughs>